now. Well, I want the place looking nice for tomorrow, don't we? Uh, where are you going? Back to bed. Uh, no, you don't. I've got a shopping list here of stuff I need you to get me for tomorrow. But I mean Bex later. But for once in your life, will you do as you're told? You know, and before you go running off to your dad, he's not here! Where is he? Oh, uh, he had to go and uh, see his accountant. What, on Christmas Eve? Look, guys, would you uh, help me with the sofa? Yeah, good hand. Move it out. Oh, hang on. Why has he left his phone here? Oh, I don't know. I must have forgot it. What well, if the hospital calls? We'd have to ask him that, won't you? But Sharon, has something happened? What, apart from the fact that Phil's walked out on a shimmy? Yeah, that's right. Seems your dad would rather crawl into some hole than spend Christmas with his family. Your lucky lady die's got the trots. Otherwise, you'll still be huddled on that bench. I just needed five minutes, that's all. So it's all right for you to go off in the sunset, is it? Leave everybody else suffering. What's happened to you, Phil? The man that I fell in love with was strong. You wouldn't let some poxy liver thing beat him. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, I used to hate Sharon. I used to look over at that house and wonder why it wasn't me in there. But now I feel sorry for her. Because she has shown more guts than you ever will. And you know why? Because she stuck it out. So what were you going to do, Phil? Chuck yourself in the canal. Well, go on, then. Cos I ain't gonna stop you. Shoes to me there. Oh, yeah. There's a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? I come every Christmas to put down flowers on Kevin's memorial plate. But that's another life that you ruined. Well, don't let me keep you. So, what are you going to do? You're just going to hide out here until your liver rots away? You know, I don't know why Sharon's so upset. She's had a lucky escape, if you ask me. I mean, what sort of man walks out on his family at Christmas, huh? You don't know what you're talking about. Actually, it's Ben and Louise that I feel sorry for. It's not like they asked to be a Mitchell, is it? I mean, what sort of legacy have you left for them? Why don't you shut your mouth? Or what, Phil? I'll end up like Kevin, is that it? Just go away. Yeah. Yeah, so you can wallow in your own self-pity. But, you see, I've got a problem, you see, because if I just leave you out to do something stupid, then that's going to be on my conscience, isn't it? I won't want to give you the satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> 